This is my 1978 Kenner TIE Fighter. Um, I picked this up at a gaming store for eight bucks. So, what a great find! I'm a huge TIE Fighter fan. I'm also a huge fan of the 1994 TIE Fighter for uh, MS DOS. And for a long time, I've been trying to get uh, that game to run on my new PC. But it doesn't want to do that. It's uh, it's just one of those games, like uh, a lot of old games. Uh, they just don't want to work on a new PC. And you know, I have the game. I have uh, I have the original along with the expansion. And my I, yeah, getting getting that onto my computer is out of the question anyway because they're all on disk. Yeah. Um, even the CD actually having the CD won't work for you either so don't waste any more of your time trying to do that uh, the key to getting it to work is DOSBox um, it's a great program it's just an emulator works a lot like a SNES emulator or an NES emulator if you've ever seen one of those um, very simple to operate um, so basically what I'm going to do now is show you how to get a copy of that. Uh, now I want to make it clear that you should really own a, get, own a copy of this game to do this or um, you can always go on eBay uh, the, or Amazon.com you can find copies of the game um, uh, or there's a wonderful website out now called GOG.com and they sell a ridiculously large amount of uh, old games, really good old games for dirt cheap so you know I don't work for them or anything, I'm not promoting them but uh, you can also wait in time they'll probably have this title on, uh, on GOG.com and if, it, if they did put it up there it would already be configured properly and everything so that, that's, that's another option but if you have the game you just need to go to this website it's called oldgames.sk it's a great website um, and what you're going to want to do in the right hand part of the uh, screen there's going to be uh, alphabet A to Z you're going to want to click on S for Star Wars and we'll just scroll through the uh, list until we get to Star Wars and here we are at uh, Star Wars TIE Fighter and so we just click on that we click on the download tab uh, we'll start with uh, the basic standard version first so let's click on uh, the uh, TIE Fighter Plus Expansion e EXE and just follow the download links I really apologize for the uh, poor quality uh, I bought this camera for $29.99 at uh, XS Cargo but the idea is uh, you know this video should help you get from point A to point Z or point A to point B, sorry. Uh, never done this before. Never, uh, never attempted this before, but I felt I had to because I just know there's people out there like me dying to play this game. Uh, so basically, we just want to. I always save everything on my desktop. And uh, so we just do that. And it takes literally like less than three seconds. And here's the beauty thing about oldgames.sk is the coolest thing is you don't even have to know how to use DOSBox in order to play this game. You don't have to put in any DOS commands, um, no searching through directories. Um, they really streamlined it. And I'll just show you what I mean. 
So I downloaded it. Here's the uh, here's the file here on my desktop. Just double click on it, and it's just like installing any other program. It could not be easier. And less than three seconds, less than two seconds, it's done. And uh, here you, are, you got your Tie Fighter downloaded. So we'll just double click on the uh, shortcut and then we come to the screen right here get my joystick here okay and just press any key and the hair on your arms begins to stand up So it's asking me to calibrate the joystick. Center, top left, bottom right, center, and I don't know if you can see it, but we have a serious problem with the uh, the cursor. It seems to be moving all around the place. I'm not touching the controls at all, but the this. So basically, yeah, you download a talk before you get all excited thinking you're, you're going to uh, play it and then its mouse is just going apeshit. And here's what you do to fix this. We're just going to go, we're going to exit the game. And this is, per this is really easy. You only have to uh, do one thing really. And that's to just go to your go to wherever it installed TIE Fighter and just open the TIE Fighter folder inside you're going to see a dosbox.play now just want to open that and if it, if it comes up uh, under um, you know which program to open it with just op open it with notepad and you'll get this huge screen of text. I know it's it's intimidating and everything, but there's only one word on this entire thing that you have to change, and that's it. And then you're done. Checking my time here. Seven and a half minutes. Okay. So we just need to scroll down to the part where we get to the joystick part, where it's talking about the joystick, and this is it right here this uh, it, the list starts with joystick type equals auto turn equals false auto fire equals false um, the only thing you have to change is right here now normally on the by default this would say true so um, like that's what it's going to be in your config file when you open it once it's been installed the only thing you have to do with this whole mess of text is just replace timed equals true with timed equals false just that one word and you save it exit and now we're going to start up the game again and now the modification has been made to the to the game folder and now we're just going to go start up the game TIE TIE and now made the modifications that we needed to do all that's done. We don't have to worry about anything else in like uh, the configuration. So I'll just start this. And what you're going to find is that uh, 
you're going to do your whole calibration and, and thing and it's still going to be doing this crazy like the mouse cursor is going to be moving and you're not going to be you're not really doing anything it's just got a mind of its own so at this point it's really had me at a loss um, I didn't really know what else to do but I wasn't willing to give up on it so this is how I found a way to get it working you probably won't believe this but but this is how it works you made this you made the modification to uh, the config file from time equals uh, true to time equals false and time equals false is what you need and um, what you need to do is to start the game again just just start it and once you get to this screen you're gonna want to with your joystick now and I'm assuming all you all you guys have a joystick if you don't have a joystick you may not have to go through any of this at all uh, if you're just willing to use a mouse or a keyboard or both uh, you might be able to bypass this whole problem altogether so but most people have a joystick with this I have the Logitech attack 3 um, it's an unbelievably great joystick and in addition to that it's less than 20 bucks Canadian so it is dirt cheap and I use it for so many games almost all flight sims but um, anyway um, once you get to this screen the final thing you have to do to get this game to work is push your throttle all the way forward like all the way plus and in addition to that you need to click the buttons the trigger namely a couple of times and just to be safe uh, click all the buttons a few times uh, and you once you do that just press any key and now finally your game is working the joystick works properly uh, it moves where you want it to move and after 13 12 and a half minutes of your time uh, hopefully you're playing some TIE Fighter and like I say make sure you have a copy of the game uh, and if you can't get a copy GOG will probably in time put this game up uh, they have other LucasArts titles up there so there's a good chance that they'll put it up so if you be patient you can you can get it and it's all legal all legit so I'm hoping uh, I know this video is an absolute mess uh, I've never done this before I know the quality is terrible um, but I'm here for you guys right now and people need to know about these games um, if we don't uh, learn from these these games like uh, you know we're gonna be doomed to repeat crappy games over and over again like a g people need to know that games can be longer than four hours uh, back in the day you know <laughs> but anyway hopefully this will get your your tie fighter working if you have any questions put them in the comments below uh, I'll answer them pretty relatively quickly so uh, thanks for watching I hope this helps and uh, have a great day